Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to read data from encoder by using PLC S1300 CPU 314C 2PN slash DP. Okay. Uh, this is an encoder and I already connected the cable for a supply 24 voltage positive negative and this is a signal from a encoder for A phase and B phase okay and uh, this is a PLC S1300 that I already connected the cable from encoder to this card okay and here is the connection yes I would like to explain a little bit for connection for uh, encoder you see a B it means that we can connect the signal from uh, a and B from encoder to this uh, terminal and for a uh, supply we can connect from uh, power supply that uh, jump with the 1L plus and uh, 1M 1M we mean that uh, minus or uh, negative and 1L plus it mean that positive or plus okay Okay, to read the data from encoder, so uh, let's go to uh, our software to create, yes. So uh, first open Schematic Manager version 5.6, right now I use this uh, version. And uh, let's create a new project. So new folder example S7 PLC S7 300 encoder yes and then go to uh, schematic manager create new project S7 300 encoder and browse to folder that we already created on the desktop yes this one and then click OK yes and uh, go to Schematic 300 station hardware configuration yes double click hardware and then go to the schematic 300 and then go to the rack and in rail insert the rail yes and uh, let's go to the CPU yeah. CPU 300 and uh, right now I will use this one yes 3.4c 2pn slash dp version 3.3 .3, yes let's click ok first and then go to hardware configuration yes here counter you see so to enable the counter operation High speed, it means high speed counter operation. Yeah, here is the description. You see, there are four channels for uh, counter in this CPU that is uh, built in the in the CPU. Counting and frequency measurement with sixty kilohertz PAL. Yes with modulation with uh, 2.5 kilohertz yeah 
switching frequency counting frequency okay so we can use four channels in the CPU and to enable the counter yes there are four channels you see so we can select one by one to enable this counter so first I uh, enable the channel number zero first and then go to uh, count continuously yes connect here and then click OK to uh, enable uh, another counter you can uh, select number one and then choose the count continuously the same yes channel number two yes count continuously and channel number three count continuously also okay and here is the address yes of uh, counter yes it start from uh, I816 and earn h31 okay and when we uh, config the block we must convert this one to hexadecimal yeah example here is the decimal address right so decimal uh, h16 yeah example and go to HR, you see 330. Okay, so click OK and then go to uh, download. Yes, download the setting to the CPU. So, wait a moment for uh, connecting from. Semantic Manager to PLC via LAN cable. Yes. So wait a moment. Okay, click view. Okay, so uh, right now uh, we found uh, one CPU, and here is the MAC address. And here is the CPU, yes, you see. 134, sorry, 314C2PN slash DP. Semantic S7300, okay. And click OK to download to the PLC. Yes. And then go to uh, block. Okay. So uh, open the OB1 organization block and choose later. So right now I will add uh, four counter yes, and I already connected the cable from uh, terminal that I show on the slide to uh, the other counters already for channels yes. So I will insert network for network, right? Okay. One network is a counter. Yes. And go to library. And go to uh, standard library. And then go to uh, system function block yes and I will use uh, this one yes SFB 47 for counting yes so drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop yes 
so there are four yes or we can use like this yes yes like this but actually I uh, like to use like this okay so I delete this first and then uh, use like this okay like this for this one example uh, DB1 DB2 and this one DB3 DB4 yes and uh, here is the channel number so it start from 0 right 1 and 3 right okay totally 4 channel and the address yes let's see the address it will start from uh, I right I 816 right and we can uh, see here 816 is uh, 330 for uh, hexadecimal yes so we can use uh, w 16 w 3 right okay and for uh, channel number 2 sorry channel number one it will start from uh, 820 right you see here is uh, 816 and there are four uh, input for the rank right so uh, it will start from A20 right so A20 334 okay so we can copy and then here 334 yes and for channel number 2 it will start from 8 right A24 right H24 and then H yeah so 33H yes and the last one for channel number 4 it will start from A28 right so A28 it will be 33C right so 33C okay and we need to uh, insert the sweet get yes example M10 100.0 yes okay and this one also uh, M uh, 100.1 yes this one M 100.2 this one M 100.3 okay and then we need to uh, see the value of counter right so this one is example MD 20 MD 30 
md uh, 40 and md 50 okay so uh, that's all for uh, create the program block yes and then let uh, sale yes and then let go to the block and then download all right so uh, go here select all and then right click download and then click all yes and start the cpu yes okay and uh, let's check the ob1 and then online yes and uh, before start uh, rotate the encoder let uh, enable this switch at first so I will go to uh, data monitor yes M100.0 right M100.1 M100.2 M100.3 okay and I will let this one to true yes select and uh, add to true and then we uh, can start rotation yes the encoder and let's see the signal right so uh, md20 md30 md40 md50 okay and uh, we will monitor the data which uh, decimal yes okay so uh, let's go to uh, rotate the encoder okay right now i will uh, rotate the encoder you see the input is uh, working yes see and the value is um, changed also. Okay. Yes, you see the value is changed. Because I already connected the cable to uh, our channel, yes. So, uh, thank you very much for watching my video. And if everyone have any question, please drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. I hope this video uh, is useful for everyone. And if I have mistake, I'm also sorry, yes, and I would like to request all of you to uh, like, share, and subscribe my channel also to get more notification and more new video that I will create step by step. So in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.